please turn your attention to the jumbo screens for the morning announcements. The Youth Ministry invites all young ladies in grades 7 through 9 to attend Girls Leadership Camp. This leadership camp will focus on creative writing, math, culinary arts, leadership, and weekly field trips. Girls Leadership Camp will be held on June 6th through July 29th. Registration is now available. See the youth ministry representative out in the atrium during Ministry Row. The children's ministry would like to invite all rising kindergartners through rising sixth graders to Summer Enrichment Camp. Summer Enrichment Camp will be held from June 6th to July 29th at the OHB location. Daily activities include academic and elective classes. If you are interested in Summer Enrichment Camp, visit the website, click under the What's Happening tab and go to Summer Enrichment Camp. The Children's Ministry is seeking a driver to operate the shuttle from the Antioch location to the OHB location two hours daily during summer camp. For qualification requirements and more information, please email iscruggs at mountzionnashville.org or call our church office. The Career Transition Support Group invites you to attend Creative Job Searching Strategies at the Antioch location starting at 6.30 p.m. If you are currently looking for employment or contemplating a career change, you don't want to miss this opportunity to learn over 50 job searching strategies. Guest speaker Renee Bob, author, trainer, TV and radio host, will discuss job searching strategies and the best job hunting tips. All sessions are free and open to the public. Bring your resume for possible job opportunities. The men and women of Zion will host a joint morning breakfast entitled Live, Laugh and Love, the Celebration of Women, held on Saturday, May 21st at the Antioch location from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. The cost is $12 per person, and we encourage all men and women to attend. Special guest actor-comedian Sister Willie Ruth Johnson will perform at this breakfast. For more information, please visit the church website and click the What's Happening tab. Discipleship Institute will host an educational series at the Antioch location entitled Bait of Satan for the entire month of May. First session for this course begins Monday, May 9th at 6.30 p.m. Are you walking 100 miles with the mayor? Upcoming walks are beginning soon. To see a complete list of days, times, and locations, please visit walk100miles.com. For me, as a caregiver of family members with cancer, it's a way for me to fight back. This is an awesome way. I am so exhilarated to be a part of this. To actually participate in research, to find a cure for cancer, I can't think of anything better for me to do. So many times the scientific studies that help us understand cancer happen in labs or patient clinics. Cancer Prevention Study 3 is a way for us to take cancer research literally into the homes of a half a million Americans and give them a chance to fight back. And over the next 20 years, those 500,000 people will help us understand the lifestyle, behavioral, and genetic factors that cause or prevent cancer. CPS3 has got the opportunity to change the face of cancer. A study this large is an ambitious undertaking, but one that we, the American Cancer Society, have tackled before. Our first cancer prevention study began in the 1950s and led to the link between cigarettes and lung cancer. Our second study began in 1982. Among many important discoveries, CPS2 reveals strong connections between obesity, lifestyle, and disease. At that time, my grandparents were enrolled, and so now that there's a new study, I am enrolling, and both my mom and my aunt are enrolling. And so we're going to be three generations of cancer prevention study participants. We realized how important it is to pursue this and how really important the entire process is of studying and knowing what causes this terrible disease. I don't think there's a family that hasn't been touched by the disease and it's important that we all participate in some way. Participating is very easy. We're looking for a diverse population of men and women between the ages of 30 and 65 who have never been diagnosed with cancer. 
The initial study enrollment takes place in person at a local enrollment site where participants complete a survey, provide some physical measurements, and give a small blood sample similar to a doctor's visit. After the initial study enrollment, participants must be willing to make a long-term commitment to the study, which simply involves completing follow-up surveys at home every few years. You can't study somebody you don't have in your study, and occasionally different factors that are associated with cancer are more important in a younger age person than in an older age person, or more important in men than in women, or more important in African Americans than in Caucasians. If you don't have all these people in the study, you can't sort these factors out. So we truly do need your help to make CPS3 a success, to help us advance our scientific knowledge, to understand better how we can prevent cancer in all Americans, and ultimately help us understand how we can save more lives. The opportunity to be involved with this study, the involvement with how it's going to change the face of cancer in the next 10 and 20 years is just phenomenal. So whether you participate or encourage others to enroll, your support of CPS3 can directly impact the American Cancer Society's efforts to save more lives and create a world with more birthdays. I look at this as a way to prevent cancer in the future, not only for my kids, but my kids' kids. That's really why I'm here. If you're between the ages of 30 and 65 and have never been diagnosed with cancer, or you know someone who is, Call us at 1-888-604-5888. Send us an email to cps3 at cancer.org or visit us at cancer.org slash cps3. I really think we're making history tonight. I really think I will tell my grandchildren about tonight. I really, really believe that this is part of the answer. On Wednesday, April 27, 2011, a mile-wide tornado struck Tuscaloosa, Alabama. The result? A devastation in Alabama unlike any other. The tornado stayed on the ground for 22 minutes straight, causing over 40 fatalities. However, we still know God remains in control. Last Friday, Mount Zion took over 80 volunteers to assist in disaster relief. We filled over 500 food bags and dropped off three truckloads of clothing. Mount Zion, thank you for stepping up during the time of need. Let's remember to continue to keep Alabama in our prayers, for we know the prayers of the righteous availeth much. To find out how to get involved with Mount Zion Outreach in the future, email questions at mountzionnashville.org. Coming to Atlanta June 29th through July 1st is the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship International Conference with Bishop Paul Morton featuring the soulful sounds of C.C. Winans, Donald Lawrence, William Murphy III, Brian Courtney Wilson, Marvin Sapp, James Fortune, and Vashawn Mitchell, all at the Georgia World Congress Center. It's time to pursue your destiny by attaining vision. Three days and three nights of life-changing messages. Mount Zion has 500 free registrations available on a first come first served basis. Registration does not include travel, hotel, or food. To register, visit MountZionNashville.org. Worship. Outreach. Relationship. Discipleship. The Word of God transforms lives. Mount Zion Baptist Church is a Word-centered ministry. Join us for Bible study on Wednesday, May 18th, as Bishop Walker explains these four components of Mount Zion and how they relate to the Word of God. Mount Zion Baptist Church, where a life-changing Word is waiting for you. information regarding any announcements or other activities at Mount Zion, please visit our website at www.mountzionnashville.org.